Hello, welcome to my channel, welcome to my universe. Today I'm gonna talk to you about how to build up fence extensions to prevent your cat going over it and getting into trouble. So this is how our uh, fence extensions looks like. It's just pieces of conduit attached to the fence and it's a mesh getting going over it. It doesn't look too pretty, but what can you do? It looks like a prison cat prison in my yard. I put all information about the products we used to build up uh, those fence extensions in the info box down below. So please take a look. There is links uh, to Lowe's and uh, Home Depot websites. So what we did use, we use a conduit. Um, it comes of a pipe of 10 feet. Uh, three uh, by uh, uh, three and a quarter inches and you have to have conduit bender I don't have it right now I can show you to bend it uh, you bend it uh, 45 degree angle and also you need to cut it you need conduit cutter uh, also you have to have this uh, mesh it's a garden mesh you can find it in garden section and Home Depot or Lowe's. We use this one, but um, if I would buy it again, I would probably choose the thicker one because this is too thin. It can get bro broken pretty easily. Uh, also, we use tie wraps to attach the mesh to the conduit. Tie wraps looks like this. Um, this is the one and you have to have tie wraps, tie wraps with the loops. I don't have it also in hands, but I will show you on the fence how it looks like. And tie wraps cutters, that's how they look like. And of course you have to have drill to put it all together. So the first thing what you do, you getting your conduit up. You bend it, you cut it and you put it up on your fence using this metal things. I don't really remember how to call it, but I will, as I told you before, put it on the description box. So you just attach it uh, with one piece down below. And before attaching another piece, you put in this uh, mesh over in between the fence and, uh, and the pipe. So it's very tight in here. Also, uh, make sure that this part is kind of loose, the top, because cats hate to be on something unstable. If so with a fence, with a fence gate, it's a little bit more complicated. What you should do in order to be able to open this gate, you attach the, this metal pipe on the end of the fence and you attach another one when the gate uh, door is started and you attach this one when on another side of the gate door I don't know if you can see it very well and you have to attach another metal arm when it's connected to the fence so you're kind of doubling up arms and in this case you can actually use this door you'll be able to open it like this just make sure you have enough here when you open it up you have enough here mesh here so it's gonna look like this We built out this fence about three weeks ago and we had several cat escapes. So the first one, they were going under the smash. I told you to put the smash very close, very tight to the fence so they can get in between and uh, climb up. So the second attempt is here. This is the weakest place because uh, you connect the mesh to the house uh, there is no other way how you can do that and uh, what they do this part it's much easy because it's more much straight piece 
they, uh, the, the cat was climbing up and getting over so we had to extend this thing way up so uh, he can't do it anymore another thing to consider is digging they dig under the fence and we surrounded by um, neighbors with dogs and their dogs are also helping to dig the, the, the holes under the fence so we put up additional piece of wood down below and it helps so far so another thing to keep an eye on is this door fence door down below it has a bigger opening and they can get out through there i hope you enjoyed my video if you have any questions uh, i miss anything about how to build up fence extensions please feel free to ask also if you like my video put likes and subscribe down below so we can meet again thank you for watching and see you next time bye bye